witchcraft. Um, Lisa's behind the camera today. I'm in front of the camera. And today I thought we would make a little nautical picture like this. And um, it's super quick, super easy, um, super fun. So uh, let's get started. So um, I found these little canvas pictures at the Dollar Tree. And I liked what was on them, but they were a little generic for me. Um, my mom has a house down in Florida, and these would be adorable in her bathroom. So, um, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more. Quite often I'll see cute pictures at um, the Dollar Tree, Big Lots, um, Family General, Dollar General, all of those places, but they're, you know, they're not quite what I want them to be. So if I like the picture quite often, I'll buy them and then just find a way to step it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, so in the future, if you do see a picture and um, you like the picture but you want more, you get it. You can always cut this off the frame and frame it. You can embellish it with whatever buttons, glitter, you know, ribbons, doodads, whatever. So. Um, so I got some, and some of this I had, you don't have to have quite this many colors, it just worked out between Lisa and I, we had all of this. This is, um, this is just some broken shells in colors, um, and this is rather small. And then I got this at the Dollar Tree, this is just, um, it's in the craft section, I don't know if it's to, to put in terrariums. It looks like fish gravel, um, but I don't think it's actually fish gravel. You definitely could use that on this. Don't use this in an aquarium, though, because I'm actually not sure what it is. But it was kind of by the silk flowers and styrofoam and things, and they had two different colors, kind of a blue and kind of a green. Um, and then we, Lisa had some of this light green. It's kind of like a called a vase filler. I think this is from Hobby Lobby. And this is basically the same thing. And this has a little bit of a sparkle in it, like mirrors. So um, we're just going to embellish and put a little bit of that on this and to give it some texture and some dimension. And that's it. Super quick, super easy. I'm kind of following. If you can see, um, I'm trying to hold this so there's no glare. If you can see, there's kind of little spots or dots already in there. So I'm kind of following the size and the colors that are already in there. And I literally did this with a skewer and some Mod Podge. Um, you can use glue. I wouldn't suggest using hot glue because, oh, it would take forever. <laughs> and there would be many, many burns on the hand. So I just um, kind of worked with one color at a time. I started with my darkest color, um, which is on the inside. And then I graduated to the lightest color on the outside. So I just literally took a skewer with some Mod Podge. I like that because it gives me a little bit of work time, but then it dries fast and it dries pretty permanent. So I literally kind of just went around and made some, some dots, some dots and some spots. I just put the little um, dots all over the bottom and then I just take some of this and kind of place them um, where I put the glue. Now there's going to be extra on there. Eventually it's going to, the excess will fall away. Um, just kind of try to pay attention where you have little spots of glue. And you can do this with any picture. It doesn't have to be a nautical or a seashell or anything. This just happens to be what, what I picked because I thought they were cool. But, um, and you really only use a pinch of this. So if you know anybody that has any of this, if you have any laying around, and you could do something like this even with little um, stones. You could do it with um, glitter. You could do it with sequins. You could do, like I said, buttons. Um, basically anything, anything that you see that you like. So as you can see um, here on the plate, you can see all the different colors that I'm working with. So there's everything from these dark colors, there's kind of an aqua blue, then there's kind of like a beach glass green, and then there's kind of a light see-through, see kind of like a watery blue color. And then these are white, but they're mirrored. So um, I'm gonna put those on last because I wanna place them in specific areas. Okay, so then onto the next color. 
So now I'm kind of trying to match these colors a little bit and the sizes. So I'm just kind of randomly going around. And that's my phone. <laughs> so, um, so guys, I'm just, I'm taking this next color and I'm just placing it where I see some of the lighter, um, the little bit of lighter colored. I don't know if they're bubbles or just textures in there. And then I'm going to, after I do a few more of these, move on to the next color. That's a nice thing Mod Podge kind of stays wet for a little bit, but it's not runny wet like some of the uh, glues actually are. If you wanted to do this all the same, um, you know, I'm choosing to, to change up the colors, but you could do something like this with all the same stones. In that case, you could just go around and just dab all the areas that you want um, the little stones to stick and then just kind of pour it on and let it dry. And then just once it's dry, lift it up and all the excess will fall away. It's kind of uh, a little bit therapeutic actually <laughs> to do this. It's very soothing. If you know anybody, you know, that lives by a lake or by an ocean or something, this is perfect for them, but even if not, a lot of times they have really cute pictures there. They just don't go all out with the framing. Um, and that's why I started kind of doing this. So, but it doesn't have to be this. I've done this um, with different things. I've done it with animals and kitchen kitchen things and utensils and whatever. So um, anything goes with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the green. I'm gonna put a few green ones next to my, my blue ones. Have you guys ever done anything like that? Let me know in the comments if you have ever bought something and then embellished it or whatever. I'd love to know what it is or or see a picture of it, or if you have ideas, we always welcome ideas. Always looking for new and different ideas. There's so many crafters out there that, you know, I don't know what all of them are doing. I don't want to copy anybody, um, but I can't possibly watch every person's video. And, you know, sometimes people go on Pinterest to get ideas. I do, too. And, um, you know, if we both happen onto the same idea, oops. But hopefully I think everybody puts their own spin on what they do. And like I said, sometimes I just find things in the store. I don't go in always with an, an idea in mind necessarily. I just kind of cruise the aisles and see what speaks to me find something that I think is pretty or fun or something that I could make something out of and go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the lighter blue ones here, these watercolors. It's basically just to get some texture and some sparkle um, so it looks a little bit more store-bought, a little bit more expensive, um, you know, not that there's anything wrong with these, but, you know, if some is good, more is better, I guess, <laughs> at least in my world. A little bit over here. Okay, so then I'm going to go back with these later blue ones, kind of drop them on. And it's going to take a little bit for it to dry on the Mod Podge. So um, once you do something like this, don't move it. I won't be able to lift this up to show it to you done, but we'll do a close-up glamour shot of it when it's all done. We'll hang it on the wall so that you can see it. 
because it's going to take a couple hours for this Mod Podge to dry. But it's coming along pretty. Now it, it looks more like the seashell is textured, like you would see it if you get it out of the water. A couple more places I want to do. It's almost like an optical illusion. There's a few places I can't tell if I already have them or not because it's starting to look very three-dimensional, which is what we're going for here. Go. Okay. Now, second to last. The last ones I'm going to put on are these mirrored ones. And this is, goodness, of course there's no name on it. It's just a base filler. Um, yeah, it's just a base filler. I've seen things like this too for like gas fireplaces or gas fire pits because they do have a little bit of the mirror, um, sparkly mirror thing on them. I'm not sure if you can see them sparkle or catch the light. Uh, but that's what makes them sparkle. So these you have to be a little bit more strategic about. Um, you want to make sure the mirrored side is up because only one side of these little nuggets have the mirror on it. So you want to make sure um, that's the side that's showing. And because they do reflect, you kind of want to make sure you stagger them and sprinkle them all around so when they shine in the light, it's not all on one side. So I'm just going to put a few of these on here and here and there. Hither and yon, and, and then we just have to put a hanger on, and we'll be good to go. I did debate if um, if I wanted to add like some sand at the bottom, or some seashells I thought about, some actual three-dimensional seashells, um, or possibly some sand, um, you know, either along the bottom. I also toyed around with um, Maybe tracing this, I don't know, seaweed or coral or whatever that's in the picture with like um, a strand of glue and then pouring some real fine um, sand on there because I have some from the various beaches I've been to in Florida. Siesta Key where it's white sand like sugar and Clearwater Beach which is my favorite. I don't know, do you guys all like to go to the beach as much as I do? Um, yeah, I take the beach any day of the week and twice on Sundays. More so than a mountain thing or camping or whatever. That's that's my paradise, my favorite place. My mom's had a house down there. She, her and my dad built a house 30 years ago. And um, that, for many years, was my home away from home. We'd go at least once or twice a year. We'd usually go down around Christmas so she wasn't alone to spend time with Christmas because my dad had passed away. And um, and then sometimes at Easter, sometimes she would come back to Wisconsin here for the summer because it would get so hot. Um, so she would come home from like Memorial Day to Labor Day. Ooh, there's a little thing flying around in here. Oh, go. Oh my goodness. It's dive bombing me. Okay, so I've got my weird ones in. I'm just going to go back and uh, put a little bit more of the dark down here in between. Whoop. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Stick your fingers in the glue. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And I'm just going to put a hanger on it. So I got some of this rope from the Dollar Tree. So I thought about framing this, but I just thought it looked more kind of beach-like 
ocean light. So the thing you have to be careful of is how you glue it on so that your rope stays alongside the picture. So you want to make sure your knot is kind of on the bottom corner and stays alongside the picture. And I'm just going to loosely put a knot up here too. I will adjust that one side. Okay, so um, just along the bottom here, put a little bit of glue and see how I'm angling the knot I'll show you kind of once I'm done. I'll show, actually, I can show you on this one. See how the knot is kind of on the corner? I did it so that this part I can glue alongside, right alongside the, the picture. If I would have turned the knot and glued it the other way, the rope would have been too far out and it wouldn't have laid nice. So you have to make sure you turn your knot so that it lays nice alongside the photo or the picture or whatever. Okay, so now then just kind of measure so that you can get a knot on the top. And I'm just going to glue, glue this along the side first. Same thing with the knot up here. Make sure it kind of hugs the corner. Okay, now the hardest part is measuring where I did this top knot. Now if you want to link the two together, um, I would suggest doing it by the rope. Um, you know, one on top of the other, that would be really adorable. These are going to be on two separate walls, so that's why I'm doing them as two separate pieces, but it would be adorable to have them one on top, one on the bottom if you have a long skinny wall. And of course you can just do onesies as well. This much. Okay, that looks looks about the same. I think. First one's easy. Measuring the second one is trickier. Lisa gave me a tape measure. <laughs> Secretly. <laughs> the elves just delivered a tape measure to me. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. She acts like she's not really here. She's standing right there, large as life. Oh, you're so funny, Lisa. See, we really do work together. <laughs> okay. She looks better on screen. <laughs> okay, so. Wow, I'm dead on. Woo, woo. Woo me. <laughs> I'm probably not dead on this direction, though. So. No. So, Got to go up a little bit. The great thing is if you just put your knot in loose, you can kind of slide them up and down accordingly. Now let's try. Pretty close. One more little roll up and I think I think I've got it. Pretty good. That'll do her. Okay so shoot I wish I could lift this up to show you but see how my knot is right now. I'm gonna try to just angle it up. If I glue this like this See where my rope is? It's not gonna, it's not gonna lay against here. So you have to make sure that you glue your knot on the correct angle, so the rope is right alongside the, the picture. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. It sounds more complicated than it is, but if you know that going in, it's definitely definitely helpful. Just 
didn't take my own advice. I almost just glued it wrong. Yikes! <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay, and then just a little thing right along the edge here for the rope. That is that, and then I just need a knot on the bottom, and then this will be basically done. You can embellish these as you want. If you want to add some glitter to these or some texture, you know, um, if you want to make them three-dimensional, the, the coral or whatever, um, go crazy. There's so many possibilities. I did toy around with the thought of putting a little glitter on it, but I have these, you know, mirrored crystals, so I didn't want to get too cheesy with it. And I wasn't sure if the sand would just be too much. Okay, so that is that. And like I said, I can't lift them up, but hopefully you can see that. And if you wanted the two together, you certainly could connect them you know, with a, with a rope like this. Just have them go like that. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm, what I'm getting at here. You could just do it like that. So I'm gonna let this one dry and we will do a glamour shot at the end for you to see them all done and sparkling together. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Please send any comments or questions or ideas to our Facebook page. We would love to hear from you. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Please, please, please. I'm trying to get viewers out there. Um, feel free to leave a comment. I'd like to get to know you and hear from you, as would Lisa, I'm sure. Um, share this video with your friends or family or put on your timeline. We sure would appreciate getting more viewers. And be sure to tune in next time to see which craft we're gonna make. Thanks guys, have a good day, bye.